storms. Here's the motion in the past hour, cutting right across Carroll County. So even if you didn't get into uh, any kind of funnel cloud, that's just going to mention, you're probably going to see pictures like this in some areas, at least. Very heavy rain. That's WJLA's chopper. And so they're taking pictures down there. You get a few inches of rain in a very short period of time, less than an hour, and you could end up with some severe flooding. And don't uh, forget, flooding is a very dangerous aspect of weather, very dangerous aspect. You do not want to try to drive across flooded roadways. In our area, the south of us, the flood threat, the uh, heavy rain threat is one of the main fe features up here. We've been worried more about the tornado threat, especially in uh, western Howard Carroll and northwestern Baltimore counties for the past hour or so. Very volatile situation, uh, and the, the two strongest cells for us will continue making their way, it looks like, probably up into southern York County as well. So uh, we're going to have to watch it as the storms move out of Maryland and make their way up across the Pennsylvania line. And not a moment too soon, Tom, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, unless you're living up in York County. Right? Yeah, that we've, got a few, uh, that we've got a few hours to go, I know, until all of this is gone. So this is Sky Team 11 here, I suppose. Uh, was that right. a picture? Yep, and there's our latest radar. And it's pretty easy to see the two big storm cells there. Uh, and I'll kind of circle them around for you just so to get the, there's one right there coming into northern Baltimore County and then southern Carroll County right there. Although it bears repeating, Tom said this is the leading edge of the storm system, so that does right, not yeah. mean this is the end of yeah, it. This yeah, is just until the beginning. 9 or 10 o'clock tonight for sure. That's going to be a long time. Is it most of it past the Mount Airy now? Airy area? The Mount Airy area, yes. It has uh, pretty much cleared that region. Also, western Howard County looks like it's cleared out pretty nicely. So, Carroll County is uh, covered with it now as far as rain goes. The southern part and the northeastern part have some strong rotation and now emphasis on western Baltimore County. Be on the lookout there in Reisterstown. That storm north of Eldersburg, it's going to clip your area to the west of Reisterstown and move up into western Baltimore County. So I, I would be a little alert for that one too, right. those two cells right there. Hey, we have a uh, tornado warning in effect for extreme north uh, northeastern Carroll County until 4:15, and then we're going to allow that uh, allow that warning to expire. Uh, the second storm that we're keeping down is it's following the first storm, believe it or not, out towards uh, just towards the north uh, west of um, Mount Airy, and this is going to be crossing uh, just it looks like just uh, towards uh, the west of Reichertown. In fact, uh, we'll give you some uh, community areas around there. And uh, we've been getting the ABC two, uh, two viewers uh, in Fixburg uh, that have been uh, sending us uh, notes saying that there's a tremendous amount of wind and rain and hail. And this is going to cross right over Baltimore Boulevard. And it's going to be over uh, some uh, communities uh, right between uh, uh, right between Lawndale Road and then uh, as you head towards uh, Emory Road. And then eventually it's going to cross up towards, uh, up towards Hanover Pike. So again, we're going to keep an eye on this storm as it's moving towards the northeast at 25 miles an hour. We're going to put a track for you. Again, a lot of these hyper-local communities and landmarks that we're listing for you. Again, if you're familiar to some of these spots, you want to get indoors and underground as, as quick as possible. Uh, Miners Ridge and Lakeland Heights at 357. This is going to be crossing uh, your vicinity. So again, that's uh, the two storms that we have on radar. That's uh, the two warnings that we have. If we go back over to the map, again, until 415 uh, for an extreme northern Baltimore, northwestern Baltimore County. That's from that cell that we mentioned on, on 83, and then extreme northern Carroll County as that second storm is going to be moving through uh, the area. Uh, we'll go back over to uh, Josie with an update. Josie? Yeah, we're getting more pictures in now as more people are, are starting to come out of their houses, the storm clearing out of their area in Carroll County. So more people going out to take photos and posting them on our Facebook page, abc2news.com slash Facebook. We want to show you a picture. This comes from Tessica. She's out in Eldersburg. She's uh, talking about, we're hearing of the storm basically clearing out of that area, but she's saying clouds still swirling there, giving a pretty scary look to the sky at this moment. So, Tessica, thanks so much for that photo. We're hearing from Lynn out in Carroll County, out by Mount Airy, that the sun is actually... The local Doppler radar.
excuse me, and then you've got uh, the uh, 95 corridor a little farther to the mm -hmm. east here in Route 1. And that little hook is now coming up towards the Beltway and probably very close to where that camera is, where uh, 29 and the Beltway intersect. So that's where all the heavy rain is. And uh, again, it looks like it's starting to rotate just a little bit. Yeah, speaking of heavy rain, uh, these are new live pictures coming in out of Montgomery County of flooding. Uh, obviously, uh, a creek has swollen in, in yeah. a low-lying area on that road that's now impassable. Hopefully, it's uh, blocked off, and hopefully, none of you will attempt crossing that. Carl, that looks deep enough and muddy enough that it could it could easily. Okay, oh, well, let's find out here. That's. Let's uh, see what happens uh, as these vehicles. It's, it's absolutely amazing to me yeah. when people do this. I mean, you don't know what the condition of the road is underneath. You don't know exactly yeah. how deep it is. And, uh, you know, maybe the guy in the truck makes it through, but you're in a car and, you, and, and it doesn't get through. Right. I, I mean, from our vantage point in the air, we could not see what that, how, but, how deep that but was. But look at the flow there. Oh, look, yeah. Absolutely. At, absolutely. I, it is crossing over there. It's, it's spraying onto the road. Uh, it was probably higher, actually, yeah. at one point where it brought some of that debris uh, onto the roads and through here. But this is exactly what we ask you folks uh, not to do. Uh, especially at night where you really can't see. I, m my hope is that these people could see the road enough yeah. so that they said, okay, well, I feel like I can cross over this at this point. But again, this is why. This is why it's just so dangerous because you really can't tell how deep that water you is. You really can't, and there's tremendous force and water. One cubic yard of water weighs almost a ton. Tremendous amount of force. That. It's amazing. Uh, and, you know, yeah, that DC, obviously is not that deep, just by watching his spray and watching him cross over. Um, but, but still, it's yeah. really going underneath. I'd be concerned yes. about the integrity of the bridge, would you not? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know the area, so I, I, I couldn't tell you. But there's obviously been a lot of mud flow. There's obviously a lot of debris that's being washed out. I don't know yeah. if it's around the bridge that's being washed out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just dangerous to cross. So this particular cell still indicating some rotation, and that's right near Forreston, Auburn Town, just west of Rayville Road there, Eklo, Bentley Springs, northern Baltimore County, around the Pretty Boy Dam area. And that's moving into southern York County in the next few minutes. So if you're in southern York County, between Hanover, Swartztown, and uh, really Glen Rock area, that's moving in your direction. So you want to take cover as well, or just keep an eye on the sky very carefully because that cell is also moving toward your area. So we want to keep tracking that for you. There it is. Those two cells, they're the big ones. Now, they just issued a severe thunder's warning for a little piece of uh, Charles County. This cell is now south of D.C., moving along the Potomac River into Charles County. I'm not sure you can see us down there, but this other cell, this one's heading for Baltimore. So I'm going to track this one for you. This one right here is the closest one to the city of Baltimore, moving right through the Laurel area, and it's moving to the northeast. Let's, uh, let's track it for you real quick. This one right here, that's Bowie. Powder Mill Estates, White House, Rolling Acres, Chestnut Hills, and Home Acres. And uh, we're talking about extreme southeastern Howard County, maybe a little piece of northern uh, PG County and western A.A. County, moving across the Laurel area, moving to the northeast. And this one's moving at about, once again, they're all pretty much the same speed, around 24 miles an hour. So it's late early on. It's gotten heavier now. That's where the heaviest activity is, just southwest of Laurel, right there on Route 1 and uh, 95. And I'm sure some of those cars on 95 are experiencing some very heavy rain right now. And that's cell moving to the north and northeast toward the general Baltimore area. Let's take a look further north. Here's Glen Burnie. So western section of the city, uh, you folks, uh, let's say maybe Catonsville area, that's going to be moving in your direction pretty shortly. Uh, Catonsville, Hellthorpe, Columbia. Western city, but it may actually get to the city of Baltimore before too long. So we've got three big storms of tracking. Another one in portions of uh, Calvert County down there, and St. Mary's County, and Charles County as well. Just stuff's blowing up all over the place, particularly down in Virginia, as you can see, south of the Washington area. So those three main storms we're watching, they're the three that we've been uh, watching for a while. And you can see, let's delete those all, and we'll re refire them up for you in just a minute. Once again, the ball crossed the Baltimore Central Maryland area. Three cells, one in northern Baltimore County, one in southern Cow County, and this one in the northern area of Mind. For fruits, veggies, and natural green tea energy, new V8 V Fusion Plus Energy could have had a V8. This is the age of knowing what you're made of. Why let erectile dysfunction get in your way? Talk to your doctor about Viagra. 
Ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain. It may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. This is the age of taking action. Viagra. Talk to your doctor. I'm with Shelly and her son Gary, who really wants a smartphone. You think we can find one at Walmart? Let's go find out. See? This is the Walmart Wireless Center. They have all the newest phones and all the top carriers. If you like Beats Audio, this is the phone for you. It's the HTC One X from AT&T. Listen to this. Wow, that sounds great. Mom, stop. See for yourself how Walmart has the latest smartphones and best plans, like the HTC One X from AT&T for just $158. The hurricane, an overpowering, overwhelming force. Only a few brave souls are daring enough to face it head on. These are the few brave souls. Hurricane Hunters, premiering Monday, June 11th at 9 on the Weather Channel.